welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a new let's play called my... I guess I'm just gonna call it the... The Harper Legacy Challenge? Question mark? Yeah. Well, it's not a challenge because I'm not doing it as the challenge of the Legacy Challenge. So I guess I could just call this the Harper Legacy. And we will be following my sims here. So I'll be introducing you to my sims this part. Ignore these two people who are on our, uh, our front porch. They, um... They're stalking us. Um, I'm pretty sure they've gotten set on fire a couple of times, gotten chased away by Janet here, and yeah, they've been here since the beginning, since they started playing with these sims, so it's kind of annoying. But anyways, I'm going to introduce you to my sims. So my first sim I have here is Janet Furtado. She loves to swim, she's brave, she loves the outdoors, she's a natural cook, and she's an animal lover, which explains our little terranium here with our snake Chris. Um, as a joke, I did name it after my friend because <laughs> anyways so favorite color is pink she likes grilled salmon and she loves indie music so moving on to her boyfriend we have Kurt Harper he's a social butterfly he's a bookworm he's a virtusio uh, he's a schmoozer and he's an angler um, he likes color yellow he likes cherry drip steak and French music and then we have their little daughter, Clay Harper. She um, is a slob and clumsy. She likes the color gray. She likes vegetarian dim sum, and she likes dark wave music. So um, the story behind them is that they used to live in Isel Paradiso for their lives. That's where they met their high school sweethearts. And Janet has always had this aspiration to move to an island, a secluded island, and live there to raise her family, catch animals, and basically just be one with nature. Her boyfriend, uh... What's her name again? Kurt? Yeah, Kurt just, you know, he loves his girlfriend, so he wants her to be able to live his aspirations. Um, he wasn't big on, you know, moving away. He actually is a musician. He wants to be a musician. He wanted to kind of move to the city and, uh, you know, join a band. But that kind of didn't happen, considering he wanted Janet to be able to follow her dreams, considering moving to a secluded island isn't something you can always do. So... They did it, and Janet's parents were not very happy with the fact that Janet um, moved away to go, you know, <laughs> be with animals. They kind of wanted her to have more of a normal uh, career choice, like maybe being a doctor or, you know, even just like having a part-time job of a grocery store, if it just kept her in his little parody so nice and safe. But um, Janet wasn't really fond of that, so this is where she is now. And they've been living here for about two years now. Um, that's how they have their daughter Clay. And they're pretty living life. They're living in this little quaint home that I actually built myself. Um, I built on this really tiny lot. It's really small, but it has all the necessities that they need to live and some annoying people who just don't leave. So I'm gonna actually delete them because they're getting on my nerves. Because all they want to do is socialize on our port and I'm not about it. I'm not about it. So, Miss Rebecca, you're just gonna have to go because you're making it difficult. Oop. And Roberto, you're gonna have to go too. Okay, moving on. Since those annoying neighbors are gone, uh, so yeah. Um, so Janet's eating her dinner because she didn't get to eat. It is late at night. Um, I did start recording late at night because they did play this family for a couple of days just to get clay and to. Uh, build up some of their skills. She doesn't have any, but he has two a uh, piano skill, and he wants to buy a stuffed animal for Clay because Clay doesn't have any toys, right? I might have to buy some new toys for Clay eventually. Yeah, that's something I'm gonna have to do. But um, for now, Janet is going to just after she's done eating, she's going to head to bed, and I will cut back in the morning when these two start to wake up. So I'll see you all then. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, my sims are waking up. It's about 5 a.m., so um, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna have Kurt come and take Clay out of the crib. He's gonna feed her because she's gonna get hungry, and I don't know about you guys, but I hate when the toddlers cry. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves is when these freaking little babies cry. So I'm gonna have him uh, put her in the high chair. Did you burn those? Okay, good, you did. Um. Janet's not really hungry, but I did have her make waffles for Kurt because he's hungry. Um, don't pick her up, 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 don't pick her up. Give her food, please. Give her some baby food. 
Thank you very much. Alright, so Kurt's gonna go outside and eat because we don't have a table inside because we live in a really small home. I did want this house to be very tiny so that it could be, um, it, it's like your first home that you purchase. And this one just so happens to be a studio. I had a TV and a couch here when I first built the house, but I ended up taking it out to have Clay's crib. That's kind of cool. So, um, one thing I did do while we did take a break, which is why it seems like um, yeah. So I did add all the, these little lots here. I added a movie theater so that Kurt can get a job because we right now are not having any funds come in. So I'm going to have him go join the music career. Um, right now I'm having him work on piano, but he kind of wants to work on every instrument that exists. So instead he's going to do that. I wanted to get her a part-time job, but in, um, like get her a part-time job at the grocery store. But I don't know what the hours of that part-time job would be, so I'm just gonna have her be at home for a little bit until I realize like what time Kurt goes to work, and then I'll see if I'll get her a part-time job so that we don't have to spend too much money on a babysitter. So one thing she wants to do is she wants to do gardening. I'm all for that actually. She wants to learn the gardening skill. Uh, where could we start a little garden? Um, maybe if I cleared out this over here and turned this into a like, really tiny garden, we could totally do that. We just have to go to the grocery store and get some seeds. So I'm gonna wait until Kurt gets back from going to join that career, and then, yeah, we'll be all set. Uh, I put in a kitchen sink. No, I didn't, actually. I was gonna say I put in a kitchen sink, but they don't even use it. Which is annoying. Um, one thing I'm gonna do really quickly is buy some outdoors toys so Clay can go and play because she's kind of stuck in the house 24-7 and I kind of want to make sure that's not too much of a thing. Also, one thing I want to do in this legacy is I want to have an alien baby. I've never had an alien baby in The Sims 4 before, and um, or not in The Sims 4, Sims 3 before, and I really want one. So that's kind of something I want to work for, is getting an alien baby. Because alien babies, they're kind of weird looking, but they could be cute. Like. Imagine an alien baby that actually looks like your sim. Can that happen? Or do they always just look like aliens? I don't know. What is that? Is that a seed? I don't know. But I, I just want that to happen. But before that, of course, I want to get Janet and Kurt married. Because they already have one child out of wedlock. And I don't do weddings very often. I just want to do everything. So it's kind of more like a Sims 3 all-in-one. But it's a legacy. Because I'm going to call it that. I like it, see, because I want to do multiple generations as well in storylines and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Also, there's only one other family living in this town who I might actually replace with one, a different family I might make, because the family that I added is really old. I made them, like, two, three years ago, and, yeah, it shows that I made them a long time ago. But, um... Yeah, I did, I did that, so let's build play a little area where she can come in and play. She's a little baby right now, so there's not much for her to actually do that considers playing. So I'm going to mo move this grill. Um, I did have this here, so I'm going to move this, hmm, actually, I'm going to leave the grill here. I'm going to move this table over here. I'm just going to do this all on camera. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these lawn chairs and actually put a little bit of a, a sandbox here maybe maybe not the sandbox that sandbox is a little too modern um i don't like that sandbox either that's this horseshoe quote we don't need that i want a sandbox hmm I'm not seeing any of my other sandboxes, actually. <laughs> That's kind of odd. Um, I'm sure I had more sandboxes. Are those the only ones? I could have sworn that this game came with, like, ten. <laughs> oh, here's one. Here's a cuter one. Alright, let's put that there. Um, Clay can't use that until she's a child anyways, but it's nice to have it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these little joy riders here. So I'm going to put this little bee. I mean, she only needs one. But I'm gonna put that, and I'm gonna also put this little seahorse. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and then we're gonna leave it at that, so that Clay can play. Maybe her parents are gonna play on it more than she is, because I'm pretty sure toddlers can't play with those. Um, yeah, she can't. 
So I'm gonna actually have her go let Clay ride on this and she's done with her breakfast and she needs to have a little fun and a little interaction with her mother while her father goes out. So yeah, I'm gonna take her outside. And we're gonna watch her because all Kurt's about to do is go out to go and get a job. And it plays cute little, like, music. Oh my god, look at all those frickin' horses. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to get off. Alright, so we're gonna accept that career. Alright, so, um, another thing that we could possibly do is teach her to talk, since that seems to be one of the easier things. Um, actually, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna teach her to walk first. I'm gonna get a walker so that she can come over here and run around for a little bit and basically do that. So, I'm gonna see something. I'm gonna see how we can get an alien baby. I know it's so early on. I want to do that later on, but I want one. Um, so I'm gonna see. Okay, okay, sorry. I, I had to do a little research. Totally forgot that space rocks were a factor of that. I haven't- what, why am I in building by mode? Um, I totally forgot- I think I was about to purchase something, I don't know. But I totally forgot that, um, space rocks were a thing. Space rocks, space rocks, space rocks, space rocks. Uh, oh no, 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 I was in building by mode because I was about to buy her a walker, that's why. Um, yeah, let's get her a walker so that she can learn to walk. Um, yeah, totally forgot the space rocks were a thing, so, um, I don't know if we will be able to get them here, cause, um, we could maybe get more left him reward points to get the collection finder for Kurt, so we're really gonna have to work on Kurt's, like, aspirations, or lifetime reward points, or whatever, um, to make sure that he, or his wants, I don't even know what they're called in this game anymore, cause Sims 4 has totally taken over my life, um, when it comes to, like, the thought process of the Sims, but... Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, let's quickly- where's the walker? It's right here. Let's get this one because I don't have any custom ones, unfortunately. I have like one. Let's get this one. A well, little pink one because I never actually get colored ones, so let's get a pink one. I always just get the yellow one because that's the one that's always there. So let's put her in the walker. Let's actually have Janet change it to her everyday wear because it's kind of odd that she's standing out here in her robe and a lot of creeps start to come out and it's weird. I always get like random sims. You guys saw earlier there was a random sim out of front door and I don't want that. Not that the sims are perverts or anything, I just don't want that. Now I thought Janet was artistic but she's not. So that's kind of odd. So I think he needs to work on his guitar skill specifically for his job. No, just musical skill. That's good. Hey, let's go to Paris. Dude, we can't even afford Paris. Um, learn social networking skill. Sorry, Kurt. No, Kurt. Unfortunately not, Kurt. Um, he wants to buy her a teddy bear. We could totally do that. He has how many? Um, where'd she go? Um, Janet, where are you going? Janet, please. Janet, do not leave the lot. She's always trying to go to the ocean. I don't understand her. Um, she wants to adopt a horse. No, Janet. Adopt a cat. Possibly. Let's just take this one out. And adopt a dog. We could totally adopt animals. I'm gonna take out the potty training one. No. Um, check out the marriage one, because that's not happening for a while. We could totally keep those in her lifetime rewards, because we could totally adopt an animal soon. Not now, maybe not in this house, but later on. So, Clay, why don't you learn to walk? Click this a couple of times. Um, Janet is going to go touch her snake, and Kurt, are you home? He is. Thank god, Kurt. So Kurt, I'm gonna actually- no, you're not going to sleep. <laughs> We're not doing that. How about you take a shower? Because you stink. So, go and take a shower. Um, Janet is pretty much- okay. So I'm gonna actually have Janet not touch Chris, 
Um, put Chris down. Please. Put Chris down. Put Chris down. And this might be the last thing I do. This part. Put Chris down. Did you put him down? Did you put him back in his cage? No, Janet, don't go to the water. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to take these people to the beach soon because they're getting on my nerves. Um, put Chris back to his, his, um, terranium before you lose him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we leave, let's actually feed Chris because you love animals and if he dies, you're gonna get really upset even though he's only a snake. So let's fill Chris's food. Um, and yeah. Chris dead. And we're going to go to the grocery store and shop for some groceries. Maybe even buy a lottery ticket. Why not? <laughs> so that we can move off this island because we need $20,000 to move. And that's kind of like Kurt's secret. He does want to move away because he wasn't expecting to actually have a child while living on this island. So he kind of wants to make sure that Clay gets a new life or a better life where she's actually interacting with other children. So that's nice. Okay, Kurt. You're an amazing singer. Yes. Sing that. Your heart out, boy. Sing it! Um, anyways, let's go to here. Okay, I put these lots here and they're really close together, but actually not because my sims can actually get to them, so I did not do a horrible job. However, this is kind of bothering me, but whatever. We don't- we don't care. I don't care. Hopefully you guys- it doesn't bother you too much. Um, so, we need to buy some- I'm gonna buy a lettuce. I'm gonna buy like one of every thing she can plant so far. So I'm like an apple, um, maybe some strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. Pretty sure those are the only items she can plant. Oh, she can't. Oh, it's only a lot of blah. We're actually going to wait. Where else is she going? Buy a lottery ticket, yeah. I kind of wish they would have done that together. Oh, she wants to go on a date with Kurt. We could totally go on a date with Kurt. Maybe tonight will be our date night. Um, I don't know how long I were recording, but maybe we could do that. I want a little bit of a date night. Um, she bought the lottery ticket. Oh. Oh, she got an imaginary friend. I feel like every child gets an imaginary friend. Like, I honestly don't think imaginary friends are that special. Now, how do we do the lottery ticket? Do they just- do we have to watch the TV? I don't even know. Um, but let's go to the store. And shop for groceries. And maybe it's only 10 a.m., but, but maybe we could go to the diner here and have a little date with Kurt so that she could get that little reward going. Right now she has 4,000, Kurt has 3,000, so let's see, Kurt doesn't want to do- Oh, he wants to go on a date with Janet! Totally! Since they both have it, that does how many? 350, not a lot, but it'd be good. So let's actually check the lifetime rewards since I want to do the collector's thing, so that we can get that alien child. And let's see. So I think it's the collector's. Filter by objects, maybe? No, no, no. Uh, skills? Question mark? Yeah. Um, no. Work? No. I just want to filter it because. Is it cash? No. Oh. Other, maybe? Competitive year. Why would you ever? No, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna do all and scroll because it was in, not in any of those, and I'm kind of shook because I thought it would be in at least one of those. Let's see, let's see, collectors. I could have sworn there's one for collecting. Ooh, super green of them. We should totally get that for her. Inheritance is always good. Everyone gets the inheritance. Ooh, you can you can command the weather. Awesome. But that's not what I want. I want. I want. The collectors. Okay, it's definitely not that much. It's probably like five thousand. And I don't know why they just put me all the way back down there. Um, strong stomach. Oh, 
think. Um, hmm. That's interesting. I can't find it. I thought it would be like right at the top because it shouldn't be that much. Maybe like 10 to 15,000 question mark. But yeah, this is um, this is happening to be very difficult to find. Yeah, I can't find it. So I'm going to stop looking. I'm going to send Janet to the bookstore since I'm taking too long. And Janet's phone's ringing. I don't know who possibly calling her, but she's just gonna go into the bookstore. Wait, why is she going back to the grocery store? No, Janet, I wanted you to shop for books. Oh, Janet. Janet, Janet, Janet. No, we're going to the bookstore. I may have accidentally clicked. Oh, she got a part-time job at the bookstore as well. All these tourists, look at them. Janet, your phone is annoying. Okay, there she goes. So, we're gonna buy a couple of books. We're gonna buy some for Clay. We're going to buy a couple of music books for... Actually, no, we're not gonna buy any music books for him. But, we're going to go to Skills first. And we're going to buy... Uh, we can buy a cooking book. Oops, no, just one. Just one. Just one. Um, we could buy a cooking book. These start to get really expensive. Gardening 1. And then I'm going to actually buy Gardening 2. I skip gardening two. Where's gardening two? Where's gardening two? Where is it? Where is it? Come back to me. All right, gardening two. All right, so those are the books we're gonna buy. Oh, it's five hundred bucks. And why not actually get a part-time job here? Oh, not you, not you. Okay, get a part-time job here. Mm. Don't eat it, don't, 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 oh, she ate her apple, she ate the apple, oh, she ate it, no, no, that's not what I wanted you to do, damn it, okay, try to get a part-time job at the bookstore, um, what, I knew I put these two clothes, damn it, go here, she is stuck, she is very stuck, okay, I broke her, I'm gonna have to fix this, and move this uh, somewhere far away. We're we're moving. We're moving. This is a mess. Okay. 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 We're home. We're here. We're alive. We're okay. Did Clay learn to walk? Is that why he just got a thousand? She did. Good job, Clay. Now you wake up, sir. You wake up. You wanted to go on this date, so you are going on this date. And she's going to go get her baby, because- no, no, she's gonna- she's gonna go watch the snake. I thought maybe she was gonna be a nice mom and go get her baby, but no, she's getting a snake. Um, let's actually have him come- stop, don't kiss her. We're going to go on a date. How do you do that? How do you ask on a date? I forgot. Um, is it not a romantic question mark? I could just want to Do- alright, kiss her, kiss her. Kiss her. We're going on this date, whether you like it or not. We're going to do this and give her a hug. I could have sworn there was just an action that says ask on date. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Bull. All right. So this is going to be the last thing I do in this part. We're going to ask her on a date. This is going to be a really long video, I can tell, just by the way that I'm recording. Oh, you want to watch the stars with Janet? That's cute. Alright, so we asked her on a date, um, we're going to go to the diner. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go eat dinner, eat here, with date, we're gonna leave our kid at home. I mean, we could take her, but I don't want to. So, we're gonna go. We're gonna go, we're gonna call a babysitter, the babysitter's gonna come take care of little Clay, and we're gonna have a nice time. Poor little Clay. <laughs> okay, call babysitter. Little Clay. She's just out here stuck in her walker because I've just abandoned you. But don't worry, little one. You, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Pretty sure that thing. Alright, so they're gonna go on their date. We're not gonna do much. They're just gonna go in, eat some food, and then come out. 
Alright guys, so Janet and Kurt have finished their date. I'm actually going to end this part right here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys want to see more of this Let's Play, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I will make sure to bring you more videos to my channel. And yeah guys, I'll see you all later. Bye!